don't try what I do with a scooter build slash scooter check. Um, I'm gonna like give like a super super detailed thing on how to put a scooter together and stuff. Just like I know there's plenty of scooter videos out there on how to put stuff together, but I just want to make it a lot e more easy for people. So, you're going to want to have all your parts. Um, so, for me, I got my bars, my forks, my deck, and my wheels. And I would show you how to install the brake. But, um, hold on one second. But, um, you need a drill for that. And I already did it. So I'm not going to take it off and then do it again. So I'll just show you. Alright, so. Um, what you would do is you see how there's two bolts. Well, if you have a Mad Gear Signature Series like mine. If you have a Mad Gear Signature Series deck. Then you're going to want, there's only going to be one hole right here. So what you want to do is make sure your wheel's off and your axle's not in there. And you're going to take this, the brake, and you're going to, before it's installed, you're going to flip it over. And then like this part right here, like underneath the brake, is going to be on top right here. Like it's going to be laying flat. Then you put the first bolt that you have through there and stuff and get it secure. So this would be inside of here, like upside down, like say my scooter's still the other way it would look like that and then you just take a drill and you drill through the hole that's already on the brake but it's not on your scooter make sure you don't drill all the way through the bottom unless you want to for like a socket to fit a socket in there but I recommend not doing that because that just weakens your brake by the way this is a Phoenix flex fender brake and then what you want to do is once you have your hole drilled, get maybe like a 5 16 drill bit, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but then you just drill like a little bit on top so it like countersinks it. Like you don't drill all the way through, you just drill like a little bit so that bolt can sink down inside of that little hole. Um, I might do a more detailed video on how to do it later, but right now I don't have time for that. It's like 4.10 in the morning, 4.10 a.m. Alright, so if you have the Mad Gear Signature Series, then you probably have a threaded headset with threaded forks, but I upgraded to this FSA Pig headset. Uh, the DH Pro, and I have dog hair all up in it with sealed bearings. So, and then that bearing doesn't come out, it's just there. I mean, it comes out, but it's a pain in the ass. Anyways, so let's get started. Um, let me figure out where I can prop up my phone. Bear with me because I'm doing this by myself and. I don't have like a tripod, all I have is my iPod, or my iPhone 4, so that's what I'm filming on. I don't really know if you can see me well, but I'm going to do this anyways. Alright, so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to take your deck, and if you're, trained, if you're changing out your grip tape, you're going to want to just go ahead and do that right now without anything on it. That way it's, you can set it in your lap, and it's not got forks hanging off and wheels everywhere. But I have grip tape, but I'm not going to put it on here yet, because this is still grippy. So what you're going to do first is take your forks. Make sure there's no dog hair on them. And slide your crown race onto your forks. 
what the crown race looks like. Slide it all the way to the bottom. It should make a little click sound like that. Then slide the forks through the bottom. Set that on your knee so it doesn't go nowhere. Then take your top bearing and there's like a little curve on the side. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a little curve. Make sure that curve faces down. Drop that over that, your forks. Make sure it goes all the way down. It should make a click sound on some headsets, but I don't think mine does. Then you're gonna take this piece. It's a compression ring. That's why there's a little slit in it. And you're gonna slide that with the thin part down first, like so. By the way, I'm running threaded forks, so I don't have HIC or SES compression, I just have a lock nut. Then once you got that on there, you take your top cap, which should look something like that, and you slide that down. Make sure everything is in there nice and tight, then you're going to want to take your lock nut if you don't have a compression system and you have threaded forks, and slide that on there, and screw it onto there. I'm upgrading to scorcher forks soon, and I will be getting HIC compression, so that finger tight to where you can't turn it anymore and then take your 36 millimeter wrench in my case I have a crescent wrench and then tighten that just a little bit more than you did with your fingers and it should be kind of tight I actually want to go a little bit tighter. Because once you put your bars on, it adds more weight, so the spin's smoother. As you can tell, my scooter's dialed so far. My front and back wheel are ovalized, so when I put those on, it won't be dialed anymore. I recommend putting on your wheels first, or at least the front one. That way when you put your forks on, it's easier to line up. Um, I'm not real sure which one's the front. My back one has a flat spot on it, so. Because I have friends that don't know how to treat stuff with respect. Sorry, it's taking so long. I just, I actually just realized that my wheel is starting to dehub. I have stock Mad Gear Signature Series wheels, by the way. your wheel on, get your bolt or your axle, whatever you have, 
I use just regular axles. Other people use bolts. Um, I'll probably upgrade the bolts because they're stronger. But I don't have money right now to do that. Or I would buy new wheels. Sorry if you can't see everything I'm doing. I can't tell if um, the camera's facing in the right direction or not because there's a bright light in my face. If not, I'll remake the video. You can hear that. Oh, it wobbles like super bad. I try to get it as tight as I can so it doesn't do that. But no matter what I do, it still does that. I just need to buy new wheels. All right, I'm just gonna put the front one on for right now. So I can put the bars on. Alright. Alright, so you want to get your bars all lined up. If your clamp's not already on your bars, like when I got my bars, it wasn't. And right now it's not entirely straight on my bars, but I can live with that. Um, but if it's not on there, it's you just take a penny and thread your bolt in backwards, like on the wrong side, and stretch it in order to put it on your bars. If you can't get it on there just by sliding it on there. So that looks about even. If it's not, I'll adjust it later, but I think it's like perfect. So what I like to do, since I have a triple clamp and there's two bolts on one side and one bolt on the other, 